are your local election headquarters as early voting continues. More than 100 faith leaders from across the state have signed a petition to fight issue four. It would expand casino operations in Hot Springs and in West Memphis and also create two resort style facilities in Pine Bluff and Russellville. KRK Force Jesse Tenor joins us in studio with their argument. Jesse. Yeah, good afternoon, Mallory. This group pointed to the social and moral aspects of issue four, but also politics, primarily the governor's race. The Republican, Democrat and Libertarian are all against it. And another lawmaker publicly joined the debate. This is not a moral issue for me. I gamble. And I tell people all the time, I've gambled since I was 14, I mean 18 years old. But State Representative Vivian Flowers voted against issue four. This is not a good deal for Arkansas. Flowers represents part of Jefferson County, where the Quapaw Tribe of Oklahoma wants to apply for a casino license. It has given more than a million to the campaign. Flowers says she hasn't been able to reach a deal with the leader of the tribe. No local partnership agreements with the affected cities that have been publicly committed to or announced. Flowers says it's the same for the second new casino location, Polk County, where a second Oklahoma tribe, the Cherokee Nation, has expressed interest. It has also given about a million to the campaign. We could all vote against issue four and at the end of the day, we'll be vastly outnumbered by people in Northwest Arkansas, people in Central Arkansas, and we'll have to do their bidding. The constitutional amendment requires applicants for a casino license to submit a letter of support from the county judge and mayor if it's within city limits. Pope County voters will also consider a proposed ordinance that would require a local election to get permission from voters before officials gave their support. But if Arkansas voters pass issue four, Flowers doesn't believe the city ordinance would hold up in court. Amendment to our constitution is very hard and very expensive to reach for a reason. Now, the campaign for issue four, driving Arkansas forward, argues it would grow the state's economy by six billion dollars and then, of course, create new jobs. The police chief of West Memphis, home to Southland Racing and Gaming, says it has not resulted in an increase in crime or criminal activities. Instead, he says the additional jobs has made the area safer. Mallory.